Hi YouTube, this is JJ714 again. Yesterday I was um, doing a review basically on my experience with hair affinity. And I just wanted to come back and to clarify. Um, just because a product does not work for me does not mean that um, I in any way am trying to imply um, that the product does not work or that it does not or that you should not try it because part of what I'm learning about this journey with my hair is that there will be products that will work great for my hair um, and there will be products that don't work for me and I just felt like after and I was simply saying based on the fact that I've used this product almost nine months, um, actually almost 10 months, and I did not feel that I was getting the results that I was seeing based on, um, you know, some of the results that Hairfinity was showing on the, um, their website as well as I'm in uh, a, a Hairfinity or I was in a Hairfinity group on Hairlista, but I've since pulled out from that group. But um, Basically, um, I wanted to just reiterate that it's important to always um, use your best judgment when you're purchasing anything. Um, it's always good to uh, find research. What I like to do is look up research. I do a lot of um, research online um, as well as, if possible, if I can reach um, the people who make a product, I will call if I have questions concerning that product because I think the best thing is to always do your research uh, or basically do your homework. That way you will not feel like, you know, well, I tried this product, you know, the person told me it was going to work. It didn't work. The other thing is being consistent. Uh, you, Regardless of what product you use, you always have to be consistent with that product. Um, I always believe that there are directions and instructions on our product for a particular reason. If we tend to, um, you know, sometimes deviate from those instructions, I do want to say that I did not deviate from the instructions. I actually would take um, the hair affinity just before I went to bed at night. Um, and, you know, maybe if I had uh, taken it earlier, but the reason I don't is um, I do take a multivitamin. I also have other medications that I'm on um, for high blood pressure, uh, cholesterol, um, and then I have a, a vitamin B deficiency, so um, a vitamin D deficiency. So I take calcium, calcium and vitamin D. Um, so with that, as I said earlier, um, I know I'm at a stage in my life where some things are going to start slowing down versus how it was, you know, 10 to 20 years or 30 years ago. So um, I in no way I'm trying to say again that if you're interested in trying the vitamins, you know, try them. They may work for you. For me, they did not give me the results that I felt like, you know, using the product for 9 to 10 months. I didn't see those kinds of results. So um, my goal is, again, I will be going back to just using um, my multivitamin, biotin, and MSM, and um, uh, omega-3s. Uh, that's, that's my goal. So um, with any supplement, know that the supplements are there to assist um, your hair in its growth. There's no magic formula growing hair, regardless of what people are trying to tell you that, you know, they may have uh, gone through a growth spurt. But I truly, truly believe that consistency is the key to whatever you decide to do. Um, my goal is really just to get my regiment down packed. Um, I want to try to get a very, very simple regiment, but a simple, ineffective regiment. Um, which includes, um, you know, not only the products, 
um, styling products, the cleaning products, but also making sure that I'm exercising, eating um, a balanced meals or eating balanced meals during the day, drinking my water and getting enough rest because I think the bottom line, those are the keys uh, to that, uh, to having success in your hair regimen. So I just wanted to come back and um, I just felt that I needed to come back and clarify because um, I do know there are a lot of people, they love hair affinity. Um, uh, from what I see from other ladies, it does work. Um, but then, you know, for some people like myself, I didn't get, again, I didn't get those results that um, I felt that I should have been able to get. And of course, I will hear some people say, oh, well, maybe you should have used it for a year. I'm like that. I guess I'm sort of old school. Um, at a certain point, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And for me, it just did not work. So with that, I just, uh, again, happy uh, Veterans Day. And I just want to come back and make that clarification. Um, I do think that Hair Affinity, they do offer uh, a great product. Uh, however, it just was not a product that did much for me. So with that, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Peace.